Welcome again to the What's Cooking Show. Again, we have Jason with the uh, Steamboat Warehouse Restaurant in Washington, and he's making us a nice, wonderful seafood pasta dish. Jason, where are we at now? Well, Joey, uh, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of our garlic. Mm. Just a touch. And we're going to add also uh, a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Again, you could use black pepper. We were talking about earlier about the mm -hmm. different peppers. You could use black pepper in this, and it's no big deal. You could, you could actually use cayenne peppers. Yeah. I just tend to keep away from the red pepper on the cream sauces because it maybe gives you a little, uh, your cream a little slight off color. Uh, I never thought of that, yeah. I'm not really uh, fond of that, but you know, some people don't care. It's not a mm -hmm. big deal. <laughs> so uh, our, our champagne has uh, reduced to about one third. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our heavy cream. And we're not gonna put too much, maybe about half a quart. And that's gonna take us a little bit to um, to get thick, so. Now do you run this sauce over certain fishes and stuff also? Or? <clears throat> well, we used to use this sauce. Um, it's been quite a while since we've done it at the steamboat. But we actually, um, we used to use this sauce every weekend. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a big hit. You know, we used to use it on different fishes. Uh, we actually put it on some steak dishes. Um, actually, the uh, famous steak Monica that we do mm -hmm. was actually uh, uh, derived from uh, this sauce. Actually, um, some lady came in one night and said, uh, we had a, a dish on the menu. And she said, uh, I want that, that uh, champagne sauce and we actually had mushrooms in it and everything so she said I want that on top of my steak she wanted a filet and she wanted the, the little stuffing that we do on the ante steak ante right. mm -hmm. so she said I wanted that steak ante except I wanted with that champagne sauce and I said oh that's that's gonna be gross <laughs> <laughs> and her name was Monica so we said we called it steak Monica so over the years um, basically we just we kind of steer towards a, a, a more simpler mm -hmm. uh, cream sauce that we have on hand every day instead of having to make this uh, per order, you know, which would just gets a little tough. Right, yeah. Especially yeah. as busy as we're on Friday and Saturday. And as many as we sell, that steak Monica is actually um, not on the menu, and it's one of our biggest sellers. So I, Wow, it's not yeah, even on the menu. If you can imagine that, it's kind of crazy, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's crazy. I just remind everybody at home, <clears throat> excuse me, if you want to take a copy of this recipe, you can go to our website at kdcg.com and click on the What's Cooking Show and you find all the recipes that are done here today and all the other shows done before. It's got a really nice, long Different list categories and everything. You can click on a category and look to see which, uh, you know, kind of narrows it down so you don't have to sit there and look through all of them. You know, if you want to look for a salad or a soup or something. That's right. And if you want the ingredients on this then you can find them at? Uh, Piggly Wiggly Stores at uh, 8410 Highway 182 North or 1305 Heather Drive or Highway 1 in Simsport. Very good, Jason. You got the police on payroll yet. We got to talk to Kevin about that. I'm calling that. Kevin as soon as I leave here. <laughs> Actually, you're going to have to go find time. him because he's going fishing. Oh, he's always fishing or hunting or something. I got the light. Got the best light. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, it's smelling real good, especially when you took that, that white pepper and put it in there. You can just really... Yeah. Um, the white pepper is very aromatic. You can, yes, it is. And uh, you can smell the champagne in the, uh, in, the, mm -hmm. in the studio this morning. Um, I'll save a little bit so we can, we can taste whenever we... Uh, ah, yeah, good idea. You know, when we're tasting it after the show. Um, but as you can see, this is very simple, mm -hmm. Joey. Um, you know, go to Piggly Wiggly and get all these ingredients and then mm -hmm. bring them home. Um, the only thing that we, we do ahead of time is our shrimp. We boil our shrimp ahead of time and we make, of course, we cook our pasta. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this pasta in here when it's over with and toss it around and that, that's pretty much going to heat the pasta up for us. Um, <clears throat> the reason why uh, we cook the shrimp ahead of time, and we've talked about this on the show before, but it's, it's kind of like, you know, if you're using an oyster and a cream sauce, you always want to cook them on the side first because there's so much moisture and so much liquid that comes out of them. Mm -hmm. um, if you're going to do it, like and put them in here raw, it would just um, make your cream sauce just uh, just so loose mm -hmm. and not 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 thick. And um, you could you could do it. It's possible, obviously, to um, to do it properly from the raw state of the shrimp, and you would get all that good flavor in there. But you just have to know what you're doing because uh, right. you'd have to your cooking process would have to change a little bit so that way some of the the, the liquid would boil out and it wouldn't mm -hmm. leave your cream sauce so uh, so thin. 
Gotcha. Okay, I understand. And while we think about it, why don't you go ahead and tell Jason uh, Java's operation of the steamboat that we have about to know. And we are open. Tuesday through Thursday, 5 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 5 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. And Sundays, 11 to 2, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. That's Sunday for lunch. And uh, that's on day lunch we do, yes, sir. Very, very nice. Um, our soft shell crabs are in season again. So we do have the uh, soft shell crabs. We do some beautiful soft shell crabs at Steamboat. Um, <clears throat> some of the favorites of the house and um, Actually, I'm trying to get my hands on some whalers, which is a, like a colossal the big soft shell crab. Yeah. And um, as soon as I get some, we're going to stuff them and deep fry them. And, uh, man, they'll cover the whole plate and put that with some pasta. That's just an amazing special. Yes, it is. Um, and they're beautiful, man. Like, we, we stuff them and we deep fry them in a little a light breadcrumb. So it uh, gives it a good coating, a little crunch to it, a little color, mm -hmm. and um, it's, it's not too much, it's not too gritty, you know, it's, it's a good, it's a good little batter. Yeah. So, uh... And soft shells are delicious things. Oh, man. If you love crabs, oh, how can you not crabs. love soft shell yeah. crabs? Mm -hmm. They're my favorite. I mean, it, well, <laughs> I can't say it's my favorite. That's too you many have crabs. a lot of favorites, too. <laughs> yeah. too Jumbo lump crab me crabs. <laughs> Anything with crabs. And we're getting a little thick here, but I think right after the break, we'll come back and uh, we're gonna let it just kind of reduce a little bit more. Okay. And then once we do that, we'll add our seafood to it and then we'll plate up and show you how to dress it up with a little Parmesan cheese, some parsley, a little bit more green onions, which I love at the end, mm -hmm. a little color. Great. And okay. some toast points we made. Fantastic. So join us when Jason's gonna finish up his dish for us on the next segment of What's Cooking. And uh, I'm just gonna put us a beautiful dish together and I can't wait to taste it. So join us back for more What's Cooking in just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. 